welcome back to the channel now it's such a nice day what i thought i'd do is i would go out in the mondeo for a drive while i let you know about something that i found while i was surfing around on the internet now not only do we all have to suffer the in uh, the internal vehicle surveillance coming to all vehicles next year in the form of forward facing cameras as well as speed limiters that are now fitted to all new uk cars since the july the 7th this year although allegedly they're not all activated yet and obviously on top of everything else we've also got to put it with the idiots in power trying to force us to have embarrassing and useless evs having already released the hideously designed and frankly embarrassing Ford Crappie, proving that they've learnt nothing after releasing the sacrilegious abomination that was the Mach-E, Ford apparently are back in the news again. Now according to a website in the USA called Motor Authority, Fords of the future might actually detect you speeding and report you to the police. Ford's trying to patent a way for its cars to report speeding drivers to the police. Now a patent application from the manufacturer titled Systems and Methods for Detecting Speeding Violations was published by United States Patent and Trademark Office on July the 18th, 2024. The patent itself was originally filed by Ford on January the 12th, 2023. The patent itself states that vehicles will monitor other vehicles using onboard cameras and report the driver for speeding if they're doing so. It's currently unclear what legal argument Ford would make for its use. Currently it's not known if it'll report you, the driver of the vehicle, for speeding if you're doing so. It's more aimed at cars around you. Fords of the future, with this system fitted, will monitor the vehicles around it, take photos and send that information via an internet connection to the local police force. Now of course I do have to say here that this was information that came out of, uh, that came through an American website for Ford in America. So whether it would apply to Fords of the UK or not in the future, but Ford being Ford, you'd have to think if the patent goes through and they have it on the cars over there, then they're going to have it on the cars over here as well. Now a Ford spokesman did tell Motor Authority that the patent is explicitly specific for application in law enforcement vehicles only, like the Ford Police Interceptor, and there would only ought to be the capability that law enforcement already have in use today except this would use the built-in system and sensors of the vehicle. But I mean, the question has to be, why though? What's the point in automating a process that all law enforcement vehicles are already equipped to deal with? It's one of the vehicle's core functions, surely. And of course, the huge question is, can Ford be trusted to actually make this thing reliable though? I mean, we all know the history of Ford, uh, although some of the information that's out there, if you dig around far enough or dig around deep enough, it's actually unbelievable. All of this from a manufacturer that, uh, that gave us the exploding pinto, the power shit transmission that they resolved the issues of by extending the warranty for up to 10 years or 150,000 miles. I mean, for God's sake, they can't even line the yokes up properly in the factory before welding in place on the new Ford Ranger. And if you dig around a little bit deeper, you'll also find out that back in 2023, Ford also applied for a patent in the USA that would give them the ability to remotely repossess cars using the car's computer to disable the vehicle if a finance agreement was broken. This glorious little system would start by making you uncomfortable like with things like switching your AC off and then stepping up to control on the radio to emit an incessant and unpleasant sound every time the owner's in the vehicle 
until the owner honours the financial obligations. If the payments still weren't made, you'll be locked out of the vehicle and the repo man will be automatically contacted to come and collect the car from you. Don't forget about the history of Ford's moral behaviour. Now, if you dig deep enough, you'll be able to find out how they helped the Argentinian dictatorship of the late 70s and early 80s to run an illegal detention centre inside the Ford factory in Argentina. Now, in this, 25 company employees and trade union leaders were targeted by the dictatorship, kidnapped, illegally detained and even tortured. And then after four decades of legal wrangling and a full year-long trial, the former head of manufacturing at the plant was given 10 years in prison. The former head of security at the plant got 12 years inside. But getting back to the new patent application, it doesn't actually state the driving data from customers' vehicles would be shared with law enforcement, which is what some media outlets have incorrectly put out there. But neither does it state that it won't. And of course, in the patent, the system as yet doesn't actually have a name. I don't know, maybe Snitchomatic, Grassomatic, maybe one of those would be a good idea. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. Do you still feel like going out and buying a new Ford? So then, knowing all that, would you trust Ford to get this spy software right? I don't think I would. Anyway, let me know in the comments. And also, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this style of video. I just thought I'd try something different with it being such a nice day. So if you want to see more like this where I just drive around and have a bit of a chat or let you know what I found out about what's happening in the motoring world. If you liked it, on the way out, caress the like button. And uh, thanks for watching this one. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.